This is Life with Psychic Susanna on 1110 KFAB. Helping you find emotional, spiritual, and physical balance. What does your future hold? It's time to find out with Psychic Susanna. Yes, you are right where you need to be. This is Life with Psychic Susanna on 1110 KFAB. Now, you can always find us on uh, uh, PsychicSusanna.com or KFAB.com where you will hear all of the shows that we have done. You'll be able to hear them. You'll be able to listen to them again and again. We have powerful shows every week, so stay tuned. Grow with us each week as we talk to fascinating authors, fascinating people that are around. As we do that, you stay tuned because grow with us. This is the place you grow. Now, tonight's guest is is uh, really pretty interesting. I got her book in the mail. The book is called The Complete Encyclopedia of Angels, and it was written by Susan Craig. Hello, Susan. Hi. How are you doing, Susanna? I'm totally blessed you're here. Now, uh, this is a very interesting book. It's a, a guide of 200 celestial beings. Now... How did you begin working with angels? Well, it was interesting. I mean, you know, I've been on a spiritual path for well over 20 years, so, you know, certainly worked with them, but not in a concentrated sort of way. And then um, my agent contacted me one day and said she had a, you know, a publishing uh, company that wanted an encyclopedia on angels. Would I be interested? And I said, yeah, sounds good. And, um... That's when I really started working with them closely. I mean, I, I thought, well, yeah, so it was so interesting. This is a book of research. I love that. Yeah, yeah, and, and it was interesting because, it, you know, as it happened sometimes in the publishing industry, I had like six months to write the book, and then they needed it in a month, and I thought, well, um, yes came out of my mouth, and then I thought, how are you going to do that? And mm-hmm. I already had a list of 200 names, so literally what it felt like is, I sat down and I went into a meditation and I interviewed all these people and it was just absolutely fascinating for me to write and um, really life changing. Well, as I understand it from the book, or in the prefects of the book, you were not taught to meditate. You were not taught to listen to spirits, were you? No, no. I mean, I originally when I went to college, I was a math physics major, and you can't get a math physics major. Yeah. Wow. So, yeah, what a was, leap of faith. Yeah. So. <laughs> what a leap of faith. So you you took on this this project of working with angels or finding out uh, about angels. What exactly are the angels? Um, it, you know, the the short answer is God messengers. Um, they're beings of light that um, they see the world through the eyes of love. So they, there's no judgment. There's none of that stuff. And um, they're just really willing to guide and help and, and just be there for us. Wonderful. And does everybody have angels? I think so. I mean, even the, the, the bad of the, the worst of the bad. I think we, we're always surrounded by divine guidance. And, you know, whether you want to call them spirit guides or angels or whatever, I mean, there's lots of good good stuff out there for uh, us to connect with. Actually, during a, a, a few of my reading, I, I do appearances. Mm-hmm. And when clients sit with me in a bar, even their angels will appear with them. Mm-hmm. So they're angels and their guides. So I know them to be true. I know I've seen them. Um, how do we work ab- with angels? How do we begin the whole process of connecting with the angels? How do we find out you know, what angels are around us? Are there certain angels around us? Well, you know, one of the, the theories about angels is that we all have guardian angels. Uh, you know, I've heard lots of different, you know, we have four, we have six, we have seven. You know, we have different ones that work with us. The only thing I know is if I sit and I get quiet and I open my mind and my heart and I ask for help, it's always there. You know, different people experience it differently. Some people hear angels. Some people... Um, We'll see signs. They keep finding feathers or pennies or something like that. Um, I think the biggest thing about working with angels is just the, the 
desire to do that and just letting go of our mind that says, well, how do I know if they're there? <laughs> like, and, and, and the questioning. I, yeah. I think quite often one of our problems when we go into our line of field we're in is that we always question what we get. And I, I believe God and the angels talk to all of us. Oh, I think yeah. most of us are just afraid to. I want. Did you hear Lily Tomlin's great, great quote? She said that when uh, you talk to God, it's called praying, and when God talks to you, it's called schizophrenic. <laughs> I, I, I think a lot of people are afraid to listen. Yeah. How, how did you get started into meditation? Um, but really because of the Beatles, you know, back in, in my hippie days. And, oh, no kidding. I love yeah. it. Okay. And they went to see the Maharishi, and, and so I thought, ah, well, I'll do that. And that was how I started meditating. And I pretty immediately saw the benefits, so I continued. And it was the beginning of a, a long journey and exploration of all different, you know, facets of spirituality and stuff. And um, okay. meditating, I think, is um, it's just such a gift. You know, and they've done all sorts of scientific research of what it does physically for our body is just amazing, mm-hmm. and it's easy. Yeah. And 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 the meditating did was it hard for you to begin, or is there a couple ideas you can give us so when we get still we can uh, know that we're can will we always reach an angel or a spirit, or how do we know we're not going to reach somebody who might try to lead us astray? One of the things I always suggest people do is um, before they meditate or they do anything, just set their intent that only beings of light show up. And okay. If you do that, you know, any of the little trickster things aren't going to come around. And I've taught people how to meditate for almost 20 years now, and the easiest way to do it is to just sit and focus our attention on our breathing. I mean, our mind will think, and then we just bring our attention back to our breath. and. I think of it much like a train station. You know, we, you stand at a train station, you can get on the train, go for a ride, or you can stand at the station and just watch. And so with meditating, it's about just sitting and watching our thoughts go by. We're, we're going to think. You mm-hmm. know, I, very seldom do I, I sit in silence for long periods of time, but I just watch my thoughts. It's like, oh, a thought. Oh, uh uh-huh. thought. And you don't fight it, but you let it go. Yeah, and I just don't get real attached to it. I mean, sometimes I go for a ride and I find myself thinking about, you know, Aunt Mildred or something, and and then I kind of go, oh, okay, and then I take a deep breath and I just focus my attention on feeling that breath. And if you just practice bringing your attention back to your breath, you you go to that place of quiet, and if you do that on a regular basis, then, you you know, you begin to receive guidance, direction. And you get to be centered. You get to be centered. I, I find that a lot of people, when when they hold their breath, they're mm-hmm. denying the spirit action in them. We're going to come right back, and then I'm going to ask you, you know, um, how do how can we get the angels to work for us? How, what okay, do no. we need to do? We'll be right back with Susan Gregg. She is the author of the Complete Encyclopedia of Angels. Yes, you're right where you need to be. This is Life with Psychic Susanna on 1110 KFAB. Now, you can always find us at PsychicSusanna.com. Or you can go to 1110 KFAB and you, you can listen to all the shows that we are talking about, we've ever talked about. How cool is that? So if you're dealing with an alcoholic, there was a show on that. If you're dealing with grief, we have a show on that. We talk to people that will empower you in your life to feel stronger and better every day. You know, it's all about learning. If you can learn by listening, what an easy way to do it. Um, I'm doing the research for you, and now with my research, we are talking to Susan Gregg, who is the complete, who has written the book, The Complete Encyclopedia of Angels. Susan, I'm going to take you a little off track from where I said I was. Welcome to the show, by the way. Okay, thanks. Okay. I, as you said, the, the title of the book is The Complete Encyclopedia of Angels. As I was reading part of it, you said, these are only 200. How many angels are there? I don't know. I mean, I, I, there's a lot of them. And, um, you know, in the Middle Ages, they used to try to argue how many angels they could fit on the head of a pin and stuff. I think there's an infinite number of angels. Wow, and wow. I noticed this book had angels 
from how many religions do, are you covering in here? Mm, quite a few. I mean, you know, the, all the major religions, and then you know, like some some of the uh, some of them aren't even aligned with with a particular religion. So wow. Yeah. Yeah, I, I mean, I was looking through it, and I, I, uh, I, I must tell you, um, how can we work with the angels? How, how can they help us? How can they guide us? What do we need to do to talk to our angels? It just sit and be quiet. I mean, there's lots of different ways. You know, you can write. I, I'm a great. I love to write letters. So you can write a letter to your angel. You can just, you know, speak out loud and just say help. You can sit quietly and, and think about it. You can light a candle. You, you know, basically, infinite number of ways of how you can connect. And the biggest thing with angels is if you need to get your, paint, your room painted, they're not going to pick up the paintbrush, but they may give you the inspiration as to what color and have somebody show up in your life that will help you. And I, I think a lot of times, you know, I, I get letters from people that have the expectation that the angels will do it for them. And, you know, they're... They won't, but they sure will help, and they'll they'll show us the easiest way to do things and a way that will bring us a great deal of joy and contentment and peace and ease if we let it. So it's, just, it's really about asking. As soon as you ask, they respond. Marvelous. Why would we talk to angels and not God? Why would we ask from angels and not God? No particular reason, you know, other than sometimes, you know, if you're, uh, like you call a complaint line about something, you talk to the, you know, the person at the help desk. You don't necessarily talk to the CEO. And um, I think you know, we could have as equally a personal relationship with God, but I think for some people it's just easier to think of working with angels, you know, to think of... Um, and they're called God's messengers, so I think they're kind of helpers, and their main energy is to help humanity and, and the animals and the plants and everything. And, and so it's just it's easier. Yeah. So as, as, as I understand it, uh, to, to work with this book, you're to uh, take a few minutes, take a breath, and open to a page. Is that correct, how to find yeah. it? Yeah, that's one of the ways that I've gotten, uh, you know, lots of readers uh, writing to me and saying that, wow, you know, I just opened the book, and lo and behold, and I just recently came back, I, I do retreats and take people all over the world, and <clears throat> I came back from being in Baja with the uh, whales, and it, it, it was a um, um, challenging trip for me, because I had, uh, I called him my problem child on the trip, and I came home, and I was sitting at my desk, and it was interesting, I just flipped open the book, and you know, it, it popped open to just the, the perfect thing, and I read it, and it was like, oh, yeah, that's right, you know, forgiveness, peace, ease, you know, and so it is, it's wonderful, and to me, one of the favorite parts of writing this book was writing about saints, because I didn't really, I wasn't raised Catholic, so I wasn't very familiar with saints, and like I said, it felt like I was interviewing them, and, and when I started writing about saints and connecting with them, it was I realized that it wasn't about suffering. You know, I mean, yeah, they had some pretty dicey experiences, but it was more that they had such a profound connection and such a deep faith that, that even though they had, you know, these really trying um, events in their life, it, they didn't suffer. You know, they, they were constantly surrounded by the unconditional love of God. And so to me that was fascinating to realize that, oh, yeah, because a lot of times you hear about, you know, the saint, you know, right. they were tortured to death mm -hmm, and stuff. Mm -hmm. And they didn't, even in the moment of their death, they didn't experience that kind of um, torture. It was just they were able to have love and compassion for the people that were doing harm to them. So to me that was fascinating. Well, you know, um, as I'm sitting, do you have a book in front of you by any chance? Mm -hmm. Because I just turned the page, mm -hmm. as you said, and I hit page 207. Now, I have never heard of this uh, Tichi. Is that it? Tichi will help you beat the odds. So you call upon her when things seem hopeless, create uh -huh. abundance in all of your lives. Uh -huh. Dice were found in her temple. Now, that's an interesting fact. And who is she? Tell me about her. Do you know much? Well, she was, a, she was one of the Greek gods. And... Um she she was you know as with most of the gods and goddesses she was just a really gentle loving um, 
goddess, but she was a daughter of Zeus, and um, <laughs> she liked to run around, you know, and she liked to, to gamble. And, really? Um, so yeah, this is some, almost like a uh, someone to call upon if you're going out gambling? Yeah, some. Wow. Yeah, she's basically the goddess of good fortune. and um, Well, I'm bookmarking this one, trust me. Yeah, <laughs> she's a good one to take out with you, you know. Okay, um, and you, you, uh, okay. So we're talking about uh, the inno- invocation. Is you uh, mm-hmm. focus on her and then chant and ask what you want. Is that correct? Yeah, you just talk to her. You know, um, she was. You know, her temple. They did find dice. So one of the things you can do if you really want to have her around is you know get a set of dice and. Um, Ask for her help. You know, it's symbolic. Marvelous. Marvelous. Yeah. Taking her to the casinos. All right. Mm -hmm. We're taking a little break again. We'll be right back with Susan Gregg. She is the author of the Complete Encyclopedia of Angels. This is Life with Psychic Susanna on 1110 KFAB. Life with Psychic Susanna on 1110 KFAB. We are talking, this is Life with Psychic Susanna, and we are talking to Susan Gregg. She wrote the article of the book, The Complete Encyclopedia of Angels. And as she was, uh, I took a break, I opened to another page. This is a book where you can open up and see what angel is there to help you. And I got to the Lady of Guadalupe. Are you there, Susan? Yes, I'm here. And I understand she will help you to conceive a child. Mm-hmm. And heal a broken heart. Uh, that this is really pretty cool information yeah. uh, in the book. I mean, very easy to find. I love how you have it indexed, so I can find out who I need to look up and who I need to talk to. I like how you have all the archangels and all of that. Please tell us how we find you and get this book. Sure. Uh, you can find me at susangreg.com. That's s u s a n g r e g g dot com. And the book is available in bookstores. You can get it on Amazon. You, know, you can get it on, on my website, too, and then I'll personally autograph it. Oh, that you. would be great. By yeah. the way, you also have a phenomenal web page. I mean, you. Facebook, Facebook. Yeah. I, yeah, I love playing on Facebook. It, and, um, is that a nice way to keep us all in touch? It is. You know, it's just, it's really fun, and I love being able to, I, I've been doing remodeling on my house and stuff, and so I've been able to take pictures throughout the process and put it up and kind of share it, and, and I just went on that journey with the whales, and I was able to put a video up there with, um, it was amazing, the mother whale came up right next to the boat, and when she poofed out her breath, there was this beautiful rainbow in the, in oh. her exhale, so. Oh, yeah, hi. I just Beautiful. I love being able to share that kind of stuff. Isn't it wonderful what Facebook is, and I love it. If you're not a friend of Susan Gregg, if you're not a friend of mine, please do. You, Life with Psychic Susanna tells you who's on the station. Susan, I'm, I'm very honored that you have been here with us today. I, I was quite honored to, to look at this book. Yes. Um, it, it's, it's quite a gift. It, it, it is a gift of, that is instrumental, helpful to you. Mm-hmm. If you have anything in your life that you want to look up, there's probably an angel that's going to guide you. Thank uh-huh. you again, Susan, for being with us. We'll talk to you again. I'm, okay, I'm well. looking to see about your Taoist understanding, too. We'll talk later, okay? Okay. Live long Take and prosper, care. young lady. You, too. Aloha. This is uh, Life with Psychic Susanna. I want to tell you about that when we come back. We're going to go right to your calls. We're going to them a little early today, um, and the numbers are 1-800-543-1110-558-1110. Yes, you can uh, give us a call now, and if you're a friend of Life with Psychic Susanna, you have an address, and that address you can send me an email, and I will answer the email on air. This is Life with Psychic Susanna. 1110 KFAB, this is the only place you need to be tonight.
Yes, this is a life with psychic Susanna on 1110 KFAB. This is exactly where you need to be. We're going to look into your future now. We're going to tell you a little bit about life and and what's going on. Now, you can find us at PsychicSusanna.com. Now, that's where you can go and get a a free question. Or you can go to KFAB.com. There is a catalog of all the shows. So if there is a subject matter that you want to discuss, if there's something you want to know about, it's probably, we've probably done a topic on it. If not, we will. And that's when you join Life with Psychic Susanna on Facebook and Susanna Stickney on Facebook. And I got to tell you, with the news today about Facebook, a little frustrating, but there's always going to be people who do dumb things to take advantage of dumb people. So please don't ever send money away to people that you don't know. And understand that if they're on the Facebook, you may, don't trust all the time. You know, the thing is, when people come to me, how do I know you're real is a lot of a question. How does You have to question. If you don't question what you do in life, then you're not honoring yourself. You're not trusting your intuition. We all have intuition to know whether something's right or wrong. So if you get something and you don't like it, you question it and you change it. The power that it says on the back of my card is always in this moment, always in this moment, and it's always in you. Right now, we're going to go to the phone lines, and the numbers to call are what, Jim? 1-800-543-1110. I like that catchy little last part, 1110, and then locally, 558 1110. And we're going to go to 